welcome. Thank you for joining me tonight. I'm so glad you could make it. It's prosperity night in the sanctuary, and I'm so excited to do this healing. I can't wait to see what junky junk junk comes out of our prosperity so that we can replenish it with all the good stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and get started right away. I'll set the energy with a prayer. As we cleanse and heal the temple of the soul, may it be with the blessing of divinity that it shine its countenance upon us and bring us peace in body, mind, and spirit. Amen. All right. Let's get down to work. Let's see what we have. I'm going to be doing the healing and talking to you one-on-one. -on -one. I'm using a composite of everybody in the sanctuary to work on. So when I clear an energy, there's a very high probability that you will have a matching energy because that's what I'm doing is looking at all the matching energy within the sanctuary. All right, here we go. The first thing that's happening is your creative energy is being loosened up wherever your creative energy is stuck. And by the way, while you um, watch this healing, you might also want to say hello to your grounding cord and just stay grounded. Boy, there's so much stuff coming out right now. I'll try to articulate what I can. There's a lot of, um, I can tell this is a sanctuary full of healers because there's a lot of energy coming out about feeling feeling bad about having more than somebody else or um, responding to judgments that you have more than than is your fair share. So that kind of energy is coming out. In other words, judgments about being greedy, that, that's coming out right now. Oh, this is good. There's a dark brown ring in the crown chakra of disbelief that's being worked on and it's old and crunchy. So it's being dismantled right now. And when I say disbelief, I mean disbelief in yourself, places where you don't believe that you can have what you really want. This is really interesting. The body is being given a hello to the cells and the prosperity in each cell of your body. Yeah, that's really cool. I'm being told it's to create healthy cells. Um, you're also being given a healing on your energy channels. And the communication is that um, the energy flowing in your channels is really important in order to be able to execute your prosperity.
oh good now we're getting into the limits and the limits are coming off like no you can't do that um you want too much it's kind of more of what came out initially the judgments but there's a lot of stop and no energy right now coming out a lot of control energy from bosses coming out trying to control your prosperity and not make them look bad There's a lot of pictures coming out about the lottery, winning, winning something um, spontaneously. Ne the next phase that's being worked on are like the energy of the beings that try to control prosperity. So the energy that's being cleared for you is being cleared off of your crown. And then um, in the back, the back of the head, you have channels back there. Those are being cleared. We call them your transmedium channels. Oh, this is good. What's being worked on now is like your parents' pictures of prosperity and what their limitations might be and how much more prosperity you actually can create for yourself than your parents could. Um, you're more capable than your parents and um, there's more prosperity on the planet. And so the energy that might diminish your prosperity from the pictures that your parents have about what they could have, that's being cleared. And your grandparents are, are coming out. And as the grandparents come out, a lot of hard work and effort pictures are being released. There's some work being done right now, brightening up your aura. And I'm starting to see some really pretty gold come into your aura. And now I'm going to work with some entities that try to control your prosperity. They're kind of low level beings I'm going to help you clear those.
And the, the next thing that's being worked on is helping you stretch your picture. Um, I'm being shown that your picture of your prosperity is in past time. So it's not as big and full as it could be. So that's what I mean when I say stretch your picture, like expand the capacity of your prosperity. That That is the healing that's going on right now. And again, the energy that was kind of keeping it contained was disappointment and um, disbelief. So that's being released. The um, vibration of prosperity that's being used for the healing is a really deep, rich yellow gold. And I'm seeing a lot more of that coming into your aura and your energetic body. I'm going to fill you in with a gold sun because a lot of energy is coming out. So we want to fill you back in. And one of the things I thought I would do in this healing is um, some of you that have worked with me, you know about your receiving channels. And I was going to do a healing using the prosperity energy and clean out your receiving room, which is a way for you to open up your receiving channels. And I'm going to do that healing for you. And, we're, and basically what it's doing is checking doorways for opportunities and mock-ups to come to you. And I'm going to be checking to make sure that the doorways are open and removing any energy that's blocking a doorway. So there are a lot of small, low-level beings that are being moved out of that space right now. And when I say low level, they vibrate at competition and control energy and destroy, and they're being cleared. Family energy is coming out of the doorways. And lots of competition is coming out. And I see a lot of the competition coming from friends, which might surprise you, but that's what I see. <laughs> You're being shown right now how the 
energy vibration that you, let's say you rest in during the day has a lot to do with how much prosperity you can create. And so the healing that's going on right now is raising that vibration. Um, you're kind of like what I would call your sitting vibration to a higher energy level. Ooh, you're getting a healing to like your original goals that have to do with um, how prosperous you'll be. And so you're getting a reminder of what it was that you told yourself you wanted to create at the beginning of this lifetime. That's interesting. You're also getting a forgiveness healing. And I heard that you have to be able to forgive in order to prosper. A beautiful energy um, running in your receiving room right now. It's um, kind of a deep yellow, orange, gold. Almost, almost all the doorways are open. I'm still working on a couple. You know, I will tell you that every everyone has a mother blocking a doorway to their prosperity. And it's not an intentional block. I just want to say that. There are a lot of different reasons why the moms are in a doorway. Um, what I'm seeing is it has more to do with how they will be represented by you and your prosperity, whether or not you have prosperity. So there's an element of um, associating themselves with your success or not. I'm going to gently and kindly move the moms out of the receiving room. There's also an element of, of where the mothers um, had a hard time separating from you and separating their successes and failures from your successes and failures. I'm moving some siblings away from the doorways.
Good. So the doors are open now. And as I was saying, with the open doorways, that um, is what allows you to have new opportunities to an open doorway is what's going to bring an opportunity or a mock-up right to you. All right, so that looks good. I'm gonna go back and check on the symbol I'm using for the prosperity. See how that's doing. That's actually looking really good. Um, so your prosperity space looks great. So I'm thinking, Here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we should take the prosperity vibration and run it through your money space. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do right now. And the first energy that it's clearing out of the money space is like a, a picture of like really tight, like there's not going to be enough. Um, it's going to be hard to remake it. Not sure if we're going to be able to make more. So a lot of clenching and very tight fisted energy coming out. Wow. A lot of depression and hard work coming out of the money. There's like the strangest thing in there. It looks like um, one of those hair nets that people wear when they work in food companies. It's um, it's an energy that's in the in the um, money space. I'm trying to see what it is. Well, it represents limitations and pictures of what you can and can't have in your money. Some um, anger coming out of the money space, frustration. And I'm trying to think of how to explain this to you. There are so many places in your space where people have put demands for your money. And it could be something as small as, um, I don't know, you know, can you buy me a Starbucks <laughs> to something really large. But when I look, there's so many points of attention and demand on your money and the prosperity is cleaning that out. And one of the things I love about prosperity is it's an expanding energy. It just grows. And so the more you say hello to it, the more it grows and fills up the money space. It's bringing in some really great energy right now. Uh, it's clearing out some survival energy. And especially out of um, bank accounts, Oh, that's nice. Um, it's bringing your your money into present time so that you can create new pictures for the new year that 
incorporate a bigger picture of your money space. For instance, like if you were still in past time pictures, you'd be creating maybe money the way that you created a year ago, two, three, four, five years ago. This is bringing you into present time so you can look and think even greater things. I actually see some karma being worked on it, and it has to do with um, like whether how you've treated other people in regards to money. So a healing's being done on that. A couple of you were robbers. I see these pictures coming out like thieves. <laughs> you have to be amused at your karma. The other thing that's going on is the prosperity is kind of growing your world. I'm, I'm trying to think of another way to explain it. It's just sort of expanding the space in which you can live your life, which I think is really nice. Well, a beautiful color is settling in your money space, and it is a deep, rich yellow with a little bit of orange tint gold. And it's filled up the whole money space. I'm going to bring a gold sun into that. And go back and look at the prosperity symbol I'm using. Um, there's another uh, part of the healing going on right now, cleaning out more limits to what you think you would be able to have in the way of prosperity. And the other thing, too, this is kind of interesting. It's cleaning out your ability to network and have relationships because that's really how we prosper is by prospering others. All right, your prosperity has been brought into present time. I'm going to fill you up with a great big gold sun of prosperity now. Wow, good job. All right. May it be with the blessing of divinity that this healing, this prosperity healing tonight be complete. Amen. You can open your eyes and if you have them closed, you can come out of trance. 
And um, I only have a few announcements tonight. I just wanted to um, clue you in on upcoming events. There it is. So in January, well, I take that back. Um, I, I am going to try to do a New Year's Eve blessing. So you'll be getting an announcement about that. And I just wanted you to know it's a New Year's Eve blessing, not New Year's Day. And I believe I'm going to hold that at seven o'clock and you'll get an announcement for that. And then in January, I'll be sending out my announcement that I have a calendar class coming up where we collect up our energy from 2020 and set the energy for 2021 by coloring a calendar and setting the energy month by month and also writing goals for the year. So it's a great class that's coming up on the 5th, which is a Tuesday night. Then um, for Female Fridays, we're going to be clearing demands out of our female energy. For those of you spirits in female bodies, I'm going to do a present time healing on the 18th. And then I'll do a question and answer on the 20th. And you guys also have a next step healing coming um, as part of the sanctuary healing. So next month, it's going to be a present time healing. I'll help you get your energy into present time for the new year and then a next step healing. And I do have a women's intuition class next month, and that is going to be on releasing responsibility. Yes. <laughs> so if you are interested in any of those, I hope to see you. And I want to wish you all a wonderful, wonderful holiday, whether you are going to celebrate with yourself or celebrate by Zoom or celebrate with family members and friends. I wish you a wonderful holiday and I will see you all on New Year's Eve. OK. Got my eyes on you. Have a wonderful holiday.